Many of you have probably noticed that when you open up Maya and use Arnold and you make a beautiful render, then you're ready to export it out as an EXR and you save it out, open it up in Photoshop and it doesn't look the same. So Arnold recently switched over to using Asus as default. Maya bought out Arnold and now it's merged together and they've made everything complicated. I'm going to give you guys the LUT that will do it automatically. You can just skip the process of figuring out and installing a plugin that will fix it for you in Photoshop. If you want to learn more about how it works for other softwares and everything, you can check out this guy's YouTube by Johnny Fair. Render in Aces and export it to Nuke After Effects in Photoshop. So I just used his process, then I converted it into a LUT that you can just put into Photoshop and then you can merge it together. I'll show you what is going on in the back end inside of Nuke though. So let's get this started. So you made this beautiful render, blah, 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 right? And you want to save it out and export it. Save image and save it as rock.exr. So it looks like this image. Now, when you open it up inside of Nuke, for the first time, it will look like this. You don't have any of that red because it's not doing the ACES conversion. So Maya is automatically doing ACES as their color management inside of Maya. So in Nuke, by default, you press S in the node graph area. And then you go to the color tabs versus on root and then you go to color and then you go to the OCO config and you switch it to ASUS 1, 2 so you can get the ASUS stuff. If you don't, you'll see if you go to color OCO color space, it won't have any of the ASUS stuff. Switch it to ASUS 1.2 or you can download the OCIO config file from Sony and do it manually as a custom and give it its path. So you do an OCO color space, you go to scene linear, ASUS CG, and then you change the bottom one to output sRGB. And then you do another one, OCO color space, and you go to color space utilities to sRGB texture down here, utility at the bottom. And then on the output, it's utilities linear, sRGB. So now, if you look at compare the two, and it's the same. And then you're done. So you can actually group this and do control G, and you can name this as your ASUS color space, which is what I've already done. And you'll see that they are the same. If you want to go inside of it, you press the S on here, and we'll open up a new tab, and you'll see these are your nodes. So you don't have to have two of these every time. You can just have one that you just duplicate around into your scenes. So now you go from there to there. Now I'm going to show you that process, but I'm going to give you a LUT and to use inside of Photoshop. So we'll go to Photoshop, open the file, rock.exr, OK. And again, because it's reading as sRGB, it's all confused. Typically, you would have to download a plugin that is an OCIO plugin and then do the whole process a bunch of times. It's actually slower in Photoshop than it is in Nuke and more tedious. So all you have to do now is do a color lookup and load. Let's bring this over here. Load 3D LUT, bring in the file. So it's not a .cube, it's .csp. So you could load it into your preview if you want to. You can always convert it to a cube in Photoshop if you want. Maybe I'll give you both. So you open up the switches to CSP, go to Photoshop. And here you go, you've got it. You have the same look from there and in Maya and in Photoshop. It's non-destructible, so you can paint underneath it. Uh, so if I want to eye drop that, I can go here and it works perfectly. Now, if you want to be a do concept, you can just merge these together and then switch it over to 8-bit. Don't merge and you got the color that you originally intended and you can paint in 8-bit or 16-bit whatever you want to do so yeah uh, i will provide you guys the photoshop LUT, and you'll be able to find the link at the bottom of the description so check it out